Hello YouTube, I'm just doing a quick overview on my CRT televisions here I have for my light gun setup at home. Uh, they're on top of two matching pine cabinets which gives the perfect height for using light guns. So let's have a look at the Sony here on the right. This is a mid-90s Trinitron, model number is KV25F2U. Um, it's pretty good picture, all connected by RGB SCART at the back. Um, it's also got Dolby Pro Logic and Nikam, which isn't that important to me. As you can see I'm using two basic speakers there. Um, you can't change the colour settings, unfortunately, via RGB SCART. Um, you can on my later CRTs I have. Um, but still a good, solid, punchy picture. Just perfect for uh, using a light gun on. I have to put the brightness up a couple of notches to get the light gun to register, because this is, this is more or less a flat tube. Um, another good feature about this particular one is that it has a nice um, square frame you can tape the TV on to play some vertical shooters. Um, if you ever do that to a TV, I always recommend putting it back into its proper position after finished playing. Um, not too sure how secure the tubes are in these TVs, so I uh, wouldn't always, rec always recommend you put it back to its original position after playing any vertical shooters. Okay, let's have a look at the 20-inch uh, here from Philips. This is a younger TV, sort of circa 2000-2001. The model number is 28PT4456-05. Quite a long-winded model name there. Um, I think this is a more colourful picture than the Sony, although not as punchier, if, that, if you can sort of understand what that means. So it's got a more for the... It's sort of very similar to the CRT monitors you'd find in arcades. Um, again, you can't change the saturation settings on the RGB SCART socket, although you do have some colour options like tint, which I've always set to warm to make it more natural looking, and you also have contrast plus and noise reduction features with this Philips too. Um, so that's just really a quick overview of these, uh, these two TVs. The Trinitron was the most expensive, it cost me £70 back in 2007, which I think I've probably overpaid for that, and spent most of its life, to be honest, just sitting under a table until very recently when I've used it for this light gun setup. This Philips was quite a recent purchase, bought about six months ago for £25 from the British Heart Foundation. Um, probably this, this Philips TV will be more used for two player light gun games. Um, at the moment I've got a PS2 set up there which has a firewire cable so I can play dual Time Crisis 2 or 3 with a friend. Um, there's two light gun, separate light gun games on either of those. You've got Vampire Knight there on the left and Ninja Assault on the right. So that's just a quick overview of my CRT television.